right on that farm again. Just, uh, I did a search when I was trying to put some well pumps in, how to install a shallow, not install, but how to wire a shallow well pump. And I couldn't find nothing. So I'm gonna tell you a couple things that I learned. Uh, anyway, I'm putting two, three quarter and uh, one horsepower. We have a one horsepower now, but I wanna have some redundancy. So I figured I get two of the same in case one goes out, I can hot swap it. And these I can run off my generator or a battery bank. So I'm gonna put them in regular uh, plugs. You could, it'd be easier to hardwire it. But um, basically what I learned is, well, I'll show you about the, the pumps when I get it more close, but everybody recommended I get these uh, armor cable whips. And they're okay, they're mainly for like air conditioners. But this uh, liquid tight with these connectors would actually be the best if you had a square D type um, of a pressure switch because then it could lock in there and it would be a lot better. But what I ended up going with was uh, I used 14 like Romex cable. It's the outdoor, uh, outdoor cable. I'll give you a closer picture. But, but I th probably would have used it if I'd have thought about it was just cut an extension cord because the way that I'm gonna show you, they have it, a round cable actually seals better. So you could have just cut this uh, extension cable and used the plug that was already on it. So come on around here, let me show some close up things real quick. I don't wanna ramble too much on this video. I have to apologize, my, my seven year old son's doing the video, but he's getting much better at holding the camera steady. So here's some points that I, I learned. If you look at these pumps, I had to call them up. Normally, they're wired. You got, uh, you have a silver colored and a brass colored. And the brass one, on the plugs at least, goes to black. Black to brass, white to white or silver. And then of course you got the green. So make sure you wire your plugs right because if you ever reuse it and you get it wired backwards. But I called up Wayne and she talked to the senior tech guy and he said it does not matter any way as long as you wire it and line in. And this is the motor. It doesn't matter which side the black is on and the white is on. Because look at this. Num number one, these two pumps are the same pump. One has the white on the right side and the other one's factory installed with the black on the right side. And they've got all brass screws. But then the one horsepower, it's got all silver screws. I mean, I don't know why they just can't keep it uniform and keep a silver with the white and a brass. How much harder could that have been? It would have kept it a lot more simpler. But I will say one caveat is like, I was watching the Square D video and they said that you need to have the white, like the hotline is the black with AC. And you need to have it on the same side is what Square D said. So like this one, I would put the black over here because then it's gonna be on the same side with the factory black and the white there. I don't know, they made it sound like it doesn't matter, but some pressure switches, it does matter to have the black with the black. But if you look there, it says line. This is my line and that's that. And I didn't use the other cables that I had because the way this little uh, round thing is on the Wayne pump, it just works out perfect. You could use it here, watch out, let me get over here at this one. This comes right off and then you push the Romex line or your extension cable line and then you can just make sure this is on there before you do it and then put that in and then wire it. The other ones, it doesn't work. I mean, you could probably dis disable this connector, but so anyway, if you use a AC plug, it's going to be a lot easier to hook to a battery bank and a generator if your power goes out. But if you hardwire it, you don't have to mess with doing a plug and worrying about something happening with the plug. So anyway, the way I'm doing all three pumps is I'm using this. I might put a dap of uh, silicone because it was round. It would be a really good seal, but it's going to be horizontal. I'm not, I mean, the, the pressure switch isn't all that watertight anyway, so I'm not even going to mess with it. But this cable works pretty good. So anyway... That's how you wire them. You don't have to worry about brass or white when you put your line in. 
and I just went with regular cable. You don't have to get these armored whips. But if you have a square D, you might try this liquid. Anyway, uh, these pumps were a really good deal. That's why I didn't go with the regular Goulds. They went up in price a little bit now, but they were less than half what I paid for that Goulds pump that's out there right now. So maybe I'll do an update video if anybody's interested how these pumps hold out. If the three quarter horsepower, because I got pumps, I got lines that run back there 600 feet and half inch and it feeds all our animals and water and stuff. So I want to make sure that this three-quarter horse pump can do that too. Anyway, Redland.farm. And that's how I wired this pump. So if you got any more questions, ask them in the comments. And if I see them, I'll try to get to them. And any advice or anything, you can always add that. Just make it constructive and don't just uh, make a rude comment.